The question number 16 is two particles of mass capital M and M are moving in a circle of radii r and small r respectively. If their time periods are the same, then the ratio of their linear speeds. That is, students, the linear speed is equal to r omega and the second would have r and omega. But say given their time periods are equal, if the time periods are equal, then their angular the velocities will also be equal. So, omega 1 is equal to omega 2. And therefore, the velocity ratio is capital R by small r. And this is 1 from here. So, answer is capital R by this. Look at the option. The first option is capital R by this. So, answer is the first one. The question number 17. A particle covers equal distance around a circular path in equal intervals of time, which of the following quantities connected with the motion of the particle remains constant with time? The particle on a circular path is covering equal distance in equal intervals of time. But you find that direction is continuously changing, so velocity is changing and even the displacement vector is changing. But what is constant in this case? The speed remains constant, so the correct option is answer third. Let's get the next question. Question number 18 is, a man can throw a stone with the speed of 10 meter per second. The maximum range that can be achieved on the ground will be g is given 10 meter per second square. Dear student, the formula of the range was equal to u square of into sine of 2 theta divided by g. And for maximum range, sine 2 theta is equal to 1, the maximum value of sine. So r is equal to u square by g. In our case, u is given 10 meter per second. So the maximum range of this would be equal to 10 square g is given 10. So it is 10 meter. Look at the option. The first option is 10 meter. So this is the correct answer. The question number 19. A particle is projected horizontally from the top of the building of height 20 meter with speed of 30 meter per second. The distance of the point where the particle lands on the ground from its point of projection is. These are four options. From the top of the building, the body is thrown with speed of 30 meter per second. And the height, this is given 20 meter. So under gravity, it will follow a parabolic path and it will hit here. And this become the range of the projectile. And you know, the range of the projectile is the initial horizontal speed multiplied by the time of flight. Now, how much time it will take under gravity? The t is equal to 2h by g, which is half g d square relation. So, 2 into 20 divided by 10 root. So, this becomes 2 seconds. So, range becomes 30 into 2, 60 meter. But the required is from here to this point, the distance, this is required, the shortest distance. And how will you calculate? So d should be equal to h square plus r square root and fill the values. h is 20, so 20 square and r we have calculated is 60. So root, so d become equal to 400 plus 3600 root, 4000 root means like this. So I write this is 20 root of 10 meter. I'll look at the option. Third option is 20 root 10 meter. So answer to this question is the third option. The question number 20, a car moving on a horizontal road may be thrown out of the road in taking a circular turn. These are four options. Mm -hmm. You know that as this car is turning on the circular path, then for this car to keep its radius fixed, They need a force toward the center called centripetal force. So centripetal force is required for the car to move on a circular path. And the first option is due to normal reaction by the ground because of gravitational pull of the moon due to the lack of sufficient centripetal force. Yes, when the centripetal force is insufficient, the car may be thrown out. So answer to this question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. 